히트 다 히트 히트 시즌 2 This is my build I need to do my build Where's my tank? Here it comes out on this timing But as you were saying Probably not the right choice You can, you can see it on Alive's face Feeling the pressure Yeah, he's on the ropes And after a very good SSL last season Let's go into game number 2 here <laughs> Game number 2 Alive versus Dressed Back again with the Frozen Temple. And up here on the top left in the red, the Terran player down a game is alive. Spawning here at the bottom right with really nice proxy play. One game ahead in the series, it is Trust. And before the uh, intro snuck up on me there, I was talking about how alive he did really well in that first season of the SSL. He made it quite deep, but this is uh, his tournament of life on the line, and he's not in the GSL, I believe, so this is his last chance to make up some points and try and get into that top eight. Yeah, I mean, every single one of these tournaments is a big deal for all these players, right? You, you, you want to get to the top uh, as, as far as possible for the money, for the point. I'm not sure if Alive has gotten enough points at this point to have any chance at BlizzCon uh, with the amount of seeds that we have coming in. and. It's, it's kind of unfortunate, you know, he's he's really turned it on towards the end of the year once again and he's definitely been doing work for his team in Pro League, but not really finding as much luck in the individual leagues. Yeah, the problem for Alive is that he had a good start in Legacy of Void, he's doing well right now, but where was he a few months ago? Where did he go? Why? He kind of disappeared yeah, during just, the round of two. He literally disappeared, he did not show up to Pro League half the time, so... But now he's worked on his uh, whatever he was struggling with, and he is here in the SSL. But as I, I keep mentioning over and over, his micro control trying to split his units and his workers in that previous game was very poor. Yeah, maybe just a bit of nerves. You know, you never know what's what's going through ahead of, of a pro gamer when so much is on the line. You're in the losers match after getting wrecked by Zest. Like it was not. Oh yeah, close, that has to be that you know? confidence beater getting wrecked like Zest there. I was I was hyping up alive. I'm like, he actually has a chance to take this against Zest, and then he gets wrecked. I'm like, well, maybe not today. Maybe today isn't his day. And uh, I mean, he's definitely feeling it. He doesn't know what the proxy is. All of a sudden, it gets into his base. He messes up the first micro, and then from there, you're you're kind of you know your mindset is just a little bit. You're a bit frazzled, right? You're you're not ready to do the six splits afterwards. Yep, and uh, no proxy here from Trust is going to get that really quick robotics and the two extra gateways. The question is, is he going to get that Twilight Council to transition to Blink or does he want to transition to those resonating blades and control the map with the Adepts? Or does he want to go Dark Shrine? <laughs> yeah, I'm very curious to see what he's going to do here. It's going to be a War Prism. He's been consistently chrono boosting out the Warp Gate research here, so wants to put on a bit of pressure right at the get-go. Really but quick, uh, Marauder, the Kakasi Shells, this is uh, something very new. He probably, pro he's probably he's very scared of the ground units. Yeah, I mean, in. this is, I don't know if he knows that Trust likes to do this on this kind of map, but early pressure with the War Prism and three gates is going to get shut down hard by just a lot of barracks units coming out. Yeah, with that Kakasi Shell researching very quickly, Thing is, though, he hasn't really gotten any Marauders yet to make advantage of it. And actually, it's the rally onto the War Prism. It's going to get that stomp off. Oh, can he get this here? It looks like he oh. will. And the Adepts, they are going to try to fight against these Marines, but he is going to lose one. And this is going to take away so much pressure from this push, alive, losing the War Prism there. Alive knew the timing of that War Prism, and he sent out his Marines, and he managed to snipe the War Prism. It's a very nice move there from Alive. And he's going to keep his units inside of that bush as well, so he's going to ambush the incoming units of Trust. Oh man, and oh. he gets baited in. The Cosmic Shell as well slows down the units. That it does, and... This is the cerebral play that you were talking about. That's why you were hyping up a lot, because he does these things where you think about, and it's like, let's be honest, we're not really Grandmaster players here, but you see it happen, you go, oh, that actually makes sense. And we saw it right there with Cosmic the Shell, Catching the army of Trust of Guard doesn't actually kill the army off per se, but picks off that Stalker and he has a comfortable lead coming into the mid game.
Yeah, it's just a, it's a, a very safe build. You know, you get a lot of units, but you can also put on a, pre a lot of pressure with it with the three racks and the concussive shells. And uh, I'm not sure if he 100% like knew the timing of the warp prison coming across, but it really does seem that way, you know, because this build is so good against the build that Trust is doing. So it's 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 almost like he read him to a T coming into this game. It looks like Trust isn't going to all in, even though that. Uh that was a quite a disastrous early start to the game. He's going to take that third base. He's getting that blink and plus one upgrade for his ground units. Also adding the mortars as well. And looks like... Actually, he's alive. Taking a third base? No, not yet. Not just yet. He's adding two more racks. And he's going to have both stim and combat shields and plus one lining up here. So I think he wants to put on a lot of pressure before he does get that third base out. He scouted the third base of Trust, and he's like, oh, you think you can get away with that? Not on my watch. Oh, excuse me. Uh, we see the Adept Shade forward, but the Supply Depot wall of Alive does go up. And it, this, there's this uh, War Prison just sitting here from Trust. He's not using it at all. He's probably just waiting for an opportunity where the army of Alive is out of position and will use it, but... Alive right now is just sending Marines all over the map. And he's got to find it. Wow, it does get that Ooh, adept. And even... Out. Yeah, I think... I mean, he's got that missile turret in position. Let's see if he goes back to defend this. Scan is going to come down and see all the tech and even an immortal coming out here. Yeah. And the resonating blaze, as well as the plus one armor, is starting to be researched here from Trust. Meanwhile, Trust is actually going to go for an in-depth drop turret not really in position but the marines coming in here just gonna stem and kill the adept get the safe pick off there more marines on the chase and keep in mind that alive never made a third cc so he's just going straight units here he wants to put on the aggression wants to pressure the third base of trust yeah once his plus one hits here for alive he wants to try and attack that third base try and take it out because the longer that the third base is up for Trust, the more ahead that Trust is going to get in this game. And I wonder if, if Trust is going to get these gateways online fast enough. He's got eight of them. And, I mean, actually, no, he's only got six at this point. Oh, actually, three more coming online. So he's going to have a total of nine. And, uh, you know, will he have those units out in time to stop this push? I mean, there's even a, a widow mine in here and a huge stim coming up. Some force fields being put down. There is a hole in the wall, and some of those units are able to fight. Yeah, I don't really like Trust's positioning there. Didn't really take advantage of those force fields. He didn't concave his adepts to do the most damage he could do. And where's the mothership pool? Did he even build a mothership pool? I don't see it here. It's not in position if he's got it. Sniping out all the immortals here. One, two, and three. But lots of stalkers being warped in. Is it going to be enough bio to fight this? It doesn't even need mothership pool. There's just way too many stalkers here. It's going to mop up this army of alive. Oh, but there's going to be a counterattack coming in through the middle of the map. And looks like Alive wants to win the game right now. Well, he's going to try to push in some of these Widow Mines first. See what he can do. He really needs to regroup. He still has no third CC, keep in mind. And all the while, Trust, now those gateways are online. They're warp gates. He didn't lose any of his economy there in that attack. He fought and he lost a bunch of his units, but that's fine. Now he's up a base on Alive and... He's, he's getting his upgrades out as well. He's 1-1. One, one. He's uh, one upgrade ahead of Alive, and he even has the plus two on the way. So Alive really on the ropes. He needs to find some more damage or just decide to play from behind, and he's just going to take that third base yeah, now. he needs to take the third base because he's just falling further and further behind. And uh, Can you check the unit count to see if Trust has a mothership pool? Yeah, he does. Okay, how much energy does he have on it? Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's, okay, uh, it's full... Cool. Okay, because it just surprised me that at the third base, there was only that one pylon just sitting there at a very non-pylon overcharge position. It seems like he was just concerned about another drop coming down, I suppose, but definitely would have been useful in the defense, just playing it safe there. Here comes the drop as you say that. Oh, the first Widow Mine doesn't deploy, but the second one gets a shot, six probes. Trust doesn't really deal with it right now. Yeah, not bad. That Widow Mine actually just strolls on out of the base. Nobody dealing with the Widow Mine alive, deciding not to keep it there. And this is a very big army, but it's not in position to deal with Trust's army that's at the third. And he can actually snipe this. This has to be cancelled. Yeah, 
the army of life completely out of position to defend from this push of trust. That third base has to be cancelled, and it is indeed. But the Liberators are out. Can he defend from this incoming attack of trust? That's still so much bio, and now with Liberators in the mix. He's fighting before the plus two. The Protoss is out, and Trust is just on the run. He's not going to fight this. Oh, but he shades into the expansion. He's going to take out all these SEVs alive. He's going to lose all these SEVs, as I said. But the Liberators got a nice angle cornering these Death, but will their Death shade out in time? Oh, they are going to, but Alive will jump on top of this, but this is mostly Marauder, so the Adepts aren't even having that bad of a time here. They are now going to walk out, level 2 armor completed, and he comes into the third base. Really nice micro, actually, on these Adepts so far. He delays it again. He might have to uh, give up this fourth base, though. Alive is committing hard now. He does not want to keep that third base up. He's lost it too many times. Yeah, and looks like these Adepts going back to that expansion. And how many SVs have killed there? Maybe like 30 or something? There's more SVs being killed. This is the push that Alive needs to do to win this game. If he loses his army, then it's all over. Really nice force field. It's going to cut that army into a third. Just take a nice slice out of the pie. And now he's going to give up that fourth, as I said. And this is where he needs to hold. He needs to take this third base and keep it alive. Where are the, where are the pylons? You need the pylons there at the ramp for those photo and overcharges. But there's only one pylon just sitting there for the Warpians. It's got 200 energy on this Mothership Core, but no Warpians. But at the same time, is it going to be enough? Okay. I mean, there's a time warp that. Time warp is, is, is going to delay. I think he should be making some pylons here because more and more stuff is just flooding across the map here from Alive. Yeah, there are the pylons, but is it too little, too late? Could be. The Mothership Core goes down. He overcharges that one pylon on the right side. And more and more units are going to come across. And it looks like. Alive may just be able to take this one. It's really, really close, though. He needs to lure the units away of trust to those Liberators, because the Liberators aren't doing anything right now. The pylons are being shelled at by these Marauders, by these Marines. And actually, Alive has a really nice position to snipe this Nexus. Snipes out the pylons here, even going to unpower a couple of gates and drop into the main. An interesting choice here. Yeah, it does, uh, actually, Trust is not using his blink. Oh, he's only got three Stalkers, though, so he's not going to be able to prevent it. Not enough to host this pylon. Unpowers four, actually, five warp gates of Trust. And it's just, oh, actually, nice snipe there from Trust. Takes out that medevac full of units. I like this. There was still no answer for the Liberators, so he just kept them here. You know, he, he didn't have to defend them. He could just always fall back to this location and trust desperately trying to warp in Stalkers to deal with this, but does he have enough supporting units to stop this? Yeah, this is a very scrappy game from both players. Nice win and mine shot onto the Adepts, but these Stalkers just doing a very nice job with their ranged attacks sniping these units, but it's not enough, actually. Okay, here's the warp in. He needs to use his probes. He hasn't used them one time in any of these fights. But the thing is, Alive is completely mined out. He has to lift his command center to the third. And if there's more units being rallied in, but... Very, very close at this point. At least Trust was able to snipe those Liberators. There's not that defensive siege unit for Alive to fall back to. And now he's going to drop into the main, and as you said, he's meanwhile back at home. He's barely even making units Same as he switches. Killed. As he switches that third command, that main command center to the third base. Yeah, and it looks like Trust is going to lock this up. But oh my God! Actually, no. There's more units coming in now at third base. Trust is not mining anywhere except to that expansion. Yeah, he needs to keep that alive. It looks like he's oh the cannon. Cannon is going to snipe one of those medevacs, and he does have this base still over here, but he loses his third, which is very, very big. Wanted to have that advantage there. Oh, but these adepts from that war prism are being so pesky, denying the mining of the third base. And this is where the cerebral players shine, because this is a situation that you never, ever expect. And, uh... Yeah, this is a super scrappy game. I love these games where we go up to high supply, but then both players very, very even in their fights. Yeah, this is a slugfest at its finest. And now it looks like Trust wants to go on the offensive here. Yeah, but he's only working off that expansion that he has at his natural. And it's going to be mining out pretty soon. Very sneaky Widow Mines at the third base as well, so if Trust decides to mine from that third base, that Widow Mine's going to get a lot of pro kills if 
Trust is not careful. Look at just how many units Alive has at this point. Trust is going to rely on force fields here. Generally, only gateway units against Bio with Metavax is not going to work out. He needs, where's the Guardian Shield? He needs Guardian Shields to help mitigate the damage because every unit counts in this situation. Finally going to bring over that one Immortal as well as the Mothership Core. Well, Trust is like the Widow Mine, but unfortunately loses a few units in return. Trust just continuously trying to force field off these units. Still can't kill that Widow Mine and is going to be forced to back off here. Looks like he just wants to save these units. Oh, I mean, unfortunately for, for, uh, for Trust, Alive has floated both his natural and main bases to the expansions, and I'm pretty sure those orbital commands have full energy so those mules can be deployed. I would not doubt it. Trust going in for one final attack, it seems. He has not rebuilt that third base, so no hopes of going back and trying to regain an advantage in this game. Yeah, Life's done a really good job with uh, this army composition that he's working with. And Trust is like trying to make this work with a lot less. Some force fields coming down. And he, those are actually really fantastic force fields. A lot of those Marauders in the bottom left were not fighting in this fight. And it's, this is still actually, a very, very close game. A lot of these units are very low. All the Metavex are out of energy now. He's pulling the SCPs as well. He, got a, he has to dupe the AI of the Stalkers to attack the Medivacs rather than the Marauders. But I don't think it matters. Oh, it looks counts. like it's just too many Marauders pushing in. And it'll eventually clean up everything here. GG! Alive will take a game. A very hard one, a very close one, but he stays alive. Very scrappy game from both players. A lot of mistakes were done, but that game actually reminded me a lot of Mario vs. Classic on the cross. Just at a lower level, I guess, of player skill, but uh, props to Life. He did a very good job with his unit control. Did what Medivacs and Marauders and Marines are supposed to do, and snipe that third base with the Nexus, and Unfortunately for Trust, couldn't secure that third base once again, and we're going to our third game. Yeah, it's going to be on Dusk's Towers, so this is going to be an interesting one. Alive, he can really, you know, try to drop and do the, you know, the, the, the wolf horseshoe, basically, um, and try to, you know, really pull Trust out of position if he goes for those greedy three next eye. Or, you know, we there, there's a reason why Trust wanted this as number one map and Alive didn't pick it at yeah. all. <laughs> you know? Sky Toss. Protoss is, they, they like this map for, you know, the very easily defendable third. All you really need to uh, worry about is the drops. And if you can defend that, you're going to be okay.